Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go into the Guggenheim Museum in Manhattan. Super hot outside Very and it's a long ass line so we're going to have to wait. But we're ready to see some really amazing pieces of work, of art. Really amazing. <laughs> Let's find out. So we in. We gotta wear masks. Yeah, masks. But look at the view. Awesome. <laughs> and look, there's even a fountain. What is this? Interesting. It's weird, right? This one, I call it bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash. Ah!
buff. Yeah. What do you think? It is. Definitely. I could make my own stuff. Yeah. I thought that the museum was kind of boring. I don't know. There were some pieces that were great, but the rest was kind of like too amateurish. How about you? Yeah, it was just a little boring. I highly recommend it if you're a tourist or a newbie in New York. Come and just see the paintings and stuff because they have some pretty interesting things there. Or if you're a modern art connoisseur. Yeah, if you're into modern art, then this is perfect for you. But everything else is just kind of boring, so it's kind of like 50 50. So now we're heading home to Queens to take a bite to eat, and um, see you guys there. We got a Thai iced tea just to cool down from the summer heat. And we got a seaweed salad to start off as an appetizer. And the seaweed salad was really good. I know it sounds a little bit gross to some people, but seaweed salad is really healthy for you. And I highly recommend it. The next thing we got was a sushi pizza. And it had all sorts of toppings like a normal sushi roll. It had spicy mayo, which gave it a kick to it. My sister really likes it. It has a really crunchy crust that's made of tempura. I really enjoyed it. My sister got spring rolls and I got a soup, like a regular broth with scallions on it. And my sister really likes the spring rolls. They're nice and crunchy and they have vegetables on it. And my broth is pretty simple and very soothing for the stomach. And as the main course, my sister got drunken noodles with shrimp. And I got a regular red curry because I already tried green curry. And I got it with some rice. And as you can see, the food is steaming hot from the kitchen. And we got another Thai iced tea. Cheers! And for dessert, we got the famous mango sticky rice, which was really good. The rice was cooked to perfection, along with the hot coconut milk. It's all drizzled on top, and the mango was nice and fresh. Very good. All right, guys, I'm back at home. And boy, am I full from the food. It was really good. And I highly recommend that restaurant if you guys really love Thai food in Queens. I'm very full now. It was really good food, 10 out of 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos from me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.